everyone. Lisa here and Sandra. And we are here with part two of Coffee Time with Sandra and Lisa. Coffee oh, time? Coffee. Cheers. Mine's almost done. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys submitted in questions and uh, for me to ask to Sandra. So I've got a few of them here and we're just going to kind of roll with them. Um, so first of all, Styles for Mile 79. She oh, asks. Yes. I like some of the names. They're funny. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So I know Sandra and you have shared your organizational skills before, but space saving tips would be great. Do you have any ideas? Yeah. Don't buy anything. <laughs> That's my biggest idea. <laughs> no space saving ideas. Honestly, no. I mean, yeah. you would have, I guess the best thing is to look at our track room tour videos. Yeah. Yeah. Because everybody's room is different. And, if I, and see, she has a room and I don't. Yeah. I have my the wall of our room. So. Yeah. And everybody yeah. has their own way of scrapbooking. I think you have to organize your stuff based on how you scrapbook. Yeah. And I think too, um, like you're good at this and I'm not. When I clean my room, I don't purge. I have a hard time doing yeah. that. Like, but you are seem good about doing I that. Purge. Yeah. See, and I need to do that. So it was fun. I was throwing her stuff away last yeah. night, but <laughs> yeah. So I don't have a lot. So just look at our videos. Yeah. And, but really try and get a handle on what we buy because we do buy a lot of crap. So. <laughs> sorry, I interrupted. Sorry. I know. Knock yeah. it off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Dan Danielle Brown, Daniel Brown, I think. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. It's yeah, Mrs. Brown. <laughs> there you go. Um, okay. Do you prefer project lifestyle or scrapbooking or both equally? Okay, no. I like project life first. Yeah. Um, and then I like making twelve by twelve life layouts, but I like to combine them both in the book. But I tend to scrap. Uh, what do you call it? Project life is just so much faster and easier. So that's probably number one now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. My it's CC from FL scraps. Right? Yeah. The one. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mike's question for Sandra. Does your hubby know how much you spend on scrappy supplies? I know. Why would you ask that? I thought you were my friend. <laughs> yes, you know, he's gonna he be does. what he does. He knows yes. exactly how much I spend, and it's fifty dollars. Yeah, it's only fifty dollars a month, just like we talked about, honey. And yeah, he knows exactly how much I spend. He doesn't. <laughs> but honestly, I don't know a number. Like if you, I mean, that sounds bad, but it's like. I don't know an exact number, but um, he knows how much stuff costs and he knows what I buy because he sees most of it come in. Now, yeah. sometimes I will bring stuff in and put it away. <laughs> so he doesn't know, but he knows how much it costs. So he knows I, he knows I spend on it. Yeah. So yeah no secret. <laughs> uh, is he supportive of your hobby? He is. Yeah. Yeah. He's as long as I'm happy with it, he's happy with it. And all the time I, when I feel guilty, he's like, don't feel bad. You know, you enjoy doing it. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I won't then. Yeah. So yeah. So. Oh, Tiffany Westbrook. Love Tiffany. <laughs> I uh, okay. I got to read. Okay. My question is why didn't you pack me in your suitcase, Sandra? Because I could have <laughs> all of you guys up in my hood. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's, it's been an ongoing joke. Like, uh -huh. it was, it was, she's like, why can I come? I know. So anyway, um, what have you learned the most from YouTube is what she actually asked. You know what? Okay, when I started scrapbooking, I think I got on YouTube. I haven't been on YouTube a year yet. But I've been watching YouTube for maybe going on two, two and a half years. And when I started watching YouTube, the biggest thing I learned was the designers. I never knew about designers or anything like that. So I would go to the like Hobby Lobby and just buy, oh, one paper, one paper, one paper. Or I like this sticker or whatever. And I would just, you know, go to local stores and buy stuff. But when I started watching YouTube, I found out like designers and their names. And I learned like Amy Tan and mm -hmm. all of that. And so like and products and collections and things so that's the biggest thing I learned from YouTube is like who makes what and the different types of scrapbooking and yeah. stuff like that so yeah yeah that yeah. changed that yeah. changed my way of scrapbooking completely yeah that's funny so uh, yeah <laughs> uh, Barbara hey hey hop hop yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. H A C A G. Uh, what is your favorite type of embellishment? Hmm. 
I would have said wood veneer. No, sequins. Sequins oh, totally. and mist. Those two things just finish off a page for me. No matter what, it, it needs something. And if you throw a little sequins on there or uh, what do you call it? Splatter. Yeah, splatter some yeah. paint and mist or whatever, you're good to go. So yeah. those two are my favorite things right now. Um, Cameron Love. Uh, my question to Sandra how do you balance your time between kids, work, life, and crafting, creating, and sharing? I have a dirty house. My kids are not fed. And no, I'm just playing. Um, the lucky thing for me is I do work at home. And so, and I'm really, uh, they're very flexible with our schedule. So I can get up really early, like six, start working. And then my work day ends at two thirty. So on my lunch, I can kind of straighten up the house. Um, you know, by the, and then I'm done with work by the time I have to get the kids so I can go pick them up and start that. And Richard helps a lot. I mean, I give him a hard time, but yeah, like if I cook, he'll do mm -hmm. dishes or if the house is not straightened up, he'll go to the kitchen and start doing that while I work my way from the bedrooms back. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's really just, we do help each other out a lot. And then, um, now that I craft and he moves, like, we, I'm a little bit more organized. Yeah. Around. He gets a TV, which he loves because we're not fighting for the History yeah. Channel. I don't like the History Channel, but he does. And I'm in my room doing what I want to do, so we both get to do what we want. And so That's we just cool. make, you have to make yeah. time or else you just won't have time. Yeah. So. And I look yeah. at, I look at scrapbooking as an outlet. Yeah. I need to get a break from being yeah. a mom mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. I just need a lock on my room. <laughs> What do you call those? Uh, oh, the devil. Uh, yeah, yeah devil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, vintage gal eighteen. Uh, when scrapbooking, what is your favorite tool? You cannot be without. Oh, that's a good Ooh. one. Hmm. Man, I mean, everybody needs tape, like ATG. Okay, so I guess so. What I bet you she means like. Okay, like I would. Product, I mean? would take out. The essentials like scissors, yeah, we all paper that. trimmer and glue. So if you uh -huh. took that out, what would it be? Man, and like the obvious, like paper, because you need paper for a layout. Yeah, I don't. I think I would say sequins. I don't know. Do you think? I know I can live without that. What favorite I tool? Live? Like, would it be like a stapler, like a tiny attacher? I do like my tiny attacher. When I can find my staples for it. That's hard. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I. Okay, so you mean, if, let's say you put the paper trimmer and stuff like that and the scissors in. Okay, so, okay, but let's, I would say paper trimmer because I went through several paper trimmers before I found the one that I liked. And I bought, like, the Walmart, this, like, one I had, this one. The Fiskars. That, yeah, the Fiskars one. Yeah. Richard got me that one for Christmas. But then I had the one that's, like, just the what is it four inches or oh, something uh -huh, like that yeah. forever and then every time I flip this blade up I mean this this blade would go yeah. flying across the room so I went to a Stampin' Up party and um I used the ladies yeah. trimmer there love it it was like $30 I think but it's so worth it is it not the same as that it, it's a little no yeah it's about this size but it's just something about the plate the blade it's super tight and you know sometimes when you're cutting on this you still go a little bit it's not straight. straight. You still kind of go a little bit to side. With the other one, you don't. I oh, really? love the other one's just so much better. Yeah. So I would say if anybody's starting out and you're looking for one, I like my stacking up one a lot. And the blade lasts a long time. Good so, to know. Yes. Good to know. So, um, I, I learned something. Yes. <laughs> of this <laughs> anyone. <laughs> okay. Moira. Okay. Uh, welcome to Canada, Sandra. Chicken. She didn't want to say it. It's in French. <laughs> <It's in> French. <laughs> um, okay. So, so how on earth did you pack for a crop when you have to go on an airplane? So, um... <laughs> okay, so I've been shopping for a while because I knew I was going to come. So I was getting the new stuff like I like. And now I know what I like. Like I like Dear Lizzie, Amy Tan, Crate Paper. There's certain things that you just know you go to. So we, I've been shopping on and off for a little bit and not using it and just kind of throwing it in things. So I put 12 by 12 
in my big suitcase. So I brought one suitcase that can weigh 50 pounds and I only got it to 41. I should, so should have maxed it out at 49. And I tried, but yeah. at the end I was like just shoving stuff. I'm like so <laughs> over it. So, and then I brought my carry on where I brought my project life and the stuff and everything that I'm bringing, most everything is staying because it's not coming back to my house. <laughs> so, and I better finish a lot while I'm here. So it was just, and Lisa just, I know I can use her stuff. So, oh yeah, totally. That made it so I didn't have to bring trimmer and things yeah. like that. So that made it really easy um what oh so you answered that. what did you bring and what will you bring so yes yeah. we answered that mm -hmm. um oh for what did you say oh poo i didn't have that and really needed it like what like mm -hmm. if you were thinking about bringing something and you didn't end up bringing it Oh, there was something you said, and I can't remember what, what it have was. I said. Yeah. Like I should have brought that. Yeah, but I can't remember what it was. I don't know. I'll and have to get back to you on that one. Yeah, because we'll we to, yeah, because we've only done lay, one layout yesterday. So yeah. yeah. Do you have a favorite color combo, and if so, what is it? I don't think I have a favorite color combo. I just find that I tend to scrap on white or craft backgrounds. Like those are my go-to. Start with a white or a craft, and when I start try to start scrapping with a pattern throws me way off and last night yeah. was like a super huge struggle and pink of course because i have girls so yeah you know yeah so but white and craft are my go-to things I think. uh miss tequila sheila oh, i love that i love the name uh well my question is what is your favorite item to make and give as a gift Oh, treat goodie bags. Oh, that's, that's yeah. easy. Be and that's because I do them for the kids' school. Or, you know, you see people do, um, you know, the little goodie bags with the little cute toppers? Yeah. I used to do a lot of that with my Cricut. I haven't pulled out the silhouette with that yet. But, um, yeah, so goodie bags are just awesome. And, you know, like, you can make the... Um, the teachers love those things, the milk carton one. Oh. Uh -huh. And then you get those cute little, pa not paper clips, but those clothespin thingies and you can <laughs> like a top with it yeah and just a little bit of candy so those yeah oh, for the teachers and my kids cute. are so little i'll be doing that for years so that's a cute idea yeah. good to know. uh celine scrap passion i love these names <laughs> i know these names are awesome. <laughs> my question to sandra is don't you have ketchup chips in tennessee no we don't no i don't think in the u.s period yeah. no we oh they're in the truck they're in the truck we bought some yeah. i haven't tried them yet but we did buy some no we don't have them no nope. yeah mm -hmm. so she will be trying those in like yeah now. if we have them anywhere in the states you can leave a comment below but uh in chattanooga no we don't so she asked what kind of flavor of chips you're able to buy i know what kind she has uh the Cheetos, hot, yeah, we have hot like Cheetos, whatever. yeah, they love the flaming hot, hot Cheetos and the cheddar jalapeno. That's yeah. their favorite. Um, so if you ever want to send Lisa something, cheddar jalapeno over here, yeah, like and um, the dill pickle and things like yeah. that, yeah. So, I don't think there was very many chips that we have like four new Lay's flavors that, that we you don't, don't have, have, yeah, but they're disgusting, yeah, they don't even sound good. I don't know, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the maple something like who wants a maple chip? Like it just sounds like syrups with chips. Sorry if any of you guys like it, but oh it just God. doesn't sound good to me. I'm Canadian, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so Charlene Wahlberg, I hope that's how you say it, Charlene. Yeah, I think so. Um, uh, I'm wondering what your favorite part of Canada is. I would think so far. Because we haven't done very much of it. It's just here. Tim Hortons is my favorite. This is all I Cheers. need. Cheers. Yeah. I I just can't get enough of it. I love coffee anyways. And this is just so good. I don't know why. So that's my favorite part. My favorite part is being right here. And this is craft room. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I know, right? Uh, Heather Sweet. Oh, that's a cute name. Uh, let me see. Where's her question? Uh, what other hobbies do you have besides scrapbooking? None. I mean, pictures, but people who scrapbook, cool. they kind of go hand in yeah. hand. So nothing. I mean, uh, let me think real quick. I mean, I'll try stuff. Like, what, what have I tried? I don't know. Raising kids, I guess, right now. Card making. <laughs> Well, yeah, but that's kind of like scrapbooking. Like, I don't sew, and I wish I could. I don't crochet. Oh, I did take some of those, um, what do you call those classes for the cake decorating? The Wilson classes. Oh, I did take uh, oh, the cool. first part of those for like a month at Joanne's, and that was, excuse me, and that was kind of fun. So, But no, scrapbooking's just really my own one. It's too expensive. You can't have a lot of hobbies. Mm -hmm. So, it's just really scrapbooking. Okay, what made you start scrapbooking? Um, 
Same thing. Isn't that funny how Walmart has started off a lot of us? Uh, I don't know. I think, I don't even know how I ended up in the craft section at Walmart, but I bought one of those albums with the spiral, you know, with the spiral mm-hmm. page. And then, so you would just stick your picture. I bought some of those scissors and I think, I, I think I've showed my first album on here. Yeah. And it's just like, it's Christmas thing where I cut it out and like a heart or they were making cookies or it was some Christmas pictures. And then I just started putting them in books. So it was kind of like your smash book, but without it being decorative like that. And then I would put them in there. And I think I did eight or ten pages, and then I stopped in that one and kind of started learning yeah. more about it. And then I found out about Hobby Lobby and stuff like that, and it just went from there. So, oh, that's yeah. cool. Um, okay. We're at 15 minutes. Right? Okay, so. <gasps> oh, wow. I Sorry. I, yeah, I'll okay, try go, we'll, we'll, we'll do a lightning round. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> What's the capital of Canada? I don't know. <laughs> Drain Valley. Next. <laughs> Final answer. Um... <laughs> uh, is there a technique you like? Mm. Splattering. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Do you like ketchup chips? I don't know yet. Poutine. Love it. Love it. Love it. Had it for lunch today. Uh, how did you start making videos on YouTube? I just finally got enough guts up to do it, and I was in a card swap, and I went, look at my first video, it's like a minute, and I was like, this is my card, it's a Christmas card, so that's how I did it. Uh, where did the name Oh Snap Gonzo come from? Um, you know what, when I was thinking about what I wanted it to be, I don't know why I didn't want to use my name, probably because it was weird, and I knew I'd be sharing stuff with my kids on there, and then like when you snap a camera, so you snap. So I thought snap. And then my niece used to say, oh, snap a lot when she was little. And then Gonzo beat my last name is Gonzalez. So people say, oh, Gonzo, you know, yeah. so then it just came up with, oh, snap, Gonzo. That's pretty oh, good. And then cool. I did it and nobody had it. So I got it. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, how old were you when you started scrapbooking? Okay. I'm uh, 24 now. So I was 14. Five? <laughs> No, I have 36 about 10 years ago. So it was like 26 when I started. <laughs> yeah, we're the same. You know, about 24. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah, we're yeah. 24. Yeah. So when I was 10. Yes. <laughs> I started when I was five. <laughs> um, has Sandra scrap lifted you? Yeah, I'm sure I have. Um, I have to have. I think I have. mean I can't come up with, but I like a lot of people's stuff, so I'm sure she's not the only one I have. Okay, like got two more left. Okay. What is the out. one of the gifts that stands out the most that you've been given? That oh I would think like maybe racks or something. That's a tough one. That's no, that's too hard. Okay. Just any rack you get is awesome because it, the fact that people take the time to think of you and send you something it just blows yeah. my mind when we get stuff in the mail. Yeah. You're like, oh my gosh, you know? Yeah. Especially yeah. when you don't expect it. Yeah, it's just unreal. So I can't tell you the favorite. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A coffee crisp, maybe. <laughs> like, me? <coffee>. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Last question. Oh, I think you answered this. How did you get this girl? Yeah. Okay. Started. okay. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. So yay. Sorry Lightning round. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay. But there was lots of questions. So that was awesome. So yeah, yeah I think we said it in Sandra's video. We are going to do our giveaway we'll or the draw um, towards the end of the Yeah, week. we'll do it Tuesday. We've got a, we need to write it down, but we'll do it Tuesday. Yeah. So we'll do a draw then and we're going to show everything that we made over the retreat mm-hmm. then and we'll have the winners announced then. Yeah. So, and so go to my channel if you want to see Lisa answer yeah. the questions they left for me yeah. to ask her. So yeah. Yeah. And that's it. We're going to go to the retreat. So yes. let's see what we accomplished tonight. Well, Thanks for joining yep. us for coffee. Yes, it's another great Cheers. day in Drayton Valley. <laughs> Sunshine and lollipops. <laughs> Rainbows um, and butterflies. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you guys in a little while. Bye. Bye. Bye.